the best way I could explain how I was feeling was I just felt everything. It was like I was experiencing every single feeling that you could possibly think of in one go. And it was like that for months and months and months. And I couldn't shake that feeling off. Namaste, my loves, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome to episode seven of the Ultimate Backpacking Guide. Today, we're going to be talking about pre travel nerves, the nerves that you receive before you go traveling. And can I tell you, I am the master of this. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a little bit of a background story and then I'm going to give you some advice on how to manage your nerves and how to settle into and prepare yourself for your trip. Prepare your mind, your body and your soul for what's about to happen and the big change that's happening in your life. Before I went backpacking, I was unbelievably nervous because at the beginning I thought for a while when I was saving for my travels, I thought that I was going to be going with my partner at the time and then when he decided that he wasn't going to come, I obviously still chose to go. Um, so it was an adjustment for my mind to have to kind of come to terms with the fact that I was actually going to be traveling solo by this point. It was so scary. I, I can't even put into words how scared, but also how excited I was at the same time. The mixture of excitement and scaredness in total made this nervous feeling in my body for pretty much the whole year before I went away. I was so nervous and I was nervous because I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I researched so much all over the internet. I built up as much knowledge as I could before even leaving because I just wanted to make sure that I knew what I was doing and I kind of didn't make any silly decisions and just made sure I was really safe and all these things because as a solo female it was just quite daunting because I'd never actually gone anywhere on my own ever really. The only places I'd gone on my own was anywhere in England which ended up just being maybe going up to see family but honestly to actually go traveling on a plane, I'd never been on a plane on my own, all of these things so it was nerve-wracking, it was really nerve-wracking and I don't think that there was enough information across the internet about this. Like I said the first year before leaving it was really confusing time, I was in my head a lot and I couldn't get out of my head and I was just thinking constantly, overthinking constantly, I'm just always thinking about my trip and always thinking about what do I need to take with me. Hopefully this backpacking guide I've created for you settles your nerves a little bit because it helps you kind of get yourself prepared before you actually go but honestly I think it's completely not, I'm here to tell you that it's completely normal to feel nervous before you go and to feel confused as well because massive thing is happening in your life, a massive change is coming and you know that it's coming. It's like you're preparing your mind, your body and your soul for this big change that's about to happen in your life. Even if you're going to be going for just three months it's still a big big deal and it's okay to feel scared and nervous and excited and all of these things. The best way I could explain how I was feeling was I just felt everything. It was like I was experiencing every single feeling that you could possibly think of in one go and it was like that for months and months and months and I couldn't shake that feeling off. And then the build up to actually going, so when it was getting to the point where it was a couple of months and I was going to be leaving, it just intensified so much more and you know I was just always trying to mentally prepare myself for and what was to come. Nothing can prepare you for the change that your whole being goes through. When you go traveling, you find parts of yourself that you cannot seem to find in your home country. It excels your growth, I believe. I think that it excels the way you think in life, the way you act upon things, what your interests are, what your dislikes are. Whereas if I stayed at home, I don't think that I would have found these parts of myself as soon. So be nervous, allow your yourself to be nervous. The advice I'm giving you is just be in that energy but just don't let it consume your being because it's great to feel into that emotion but the best thing for you to do is to channel the nervous feeling into something productive that you need for your travel, for your trip. So if you're nervous, think about what it is specifically that's making you more nervous than anything and try and work on that before you go. So say if you feel more nervous about being on your own, if you are going solo, put yourself in situations where you know you're going to be on your own for a long period of time so for example the simplest thing of just going out for a really long hike on your own driving maybe an hour out to a really nice location that you like and just going for a really long walk little things like going to a restaurant on your own and having food you'll do that so much when you're traveling that it's great to prepare yourself for that before you go even if it's the simplest thing of going for a takeaway on your own it just steps you out of your comfort zone because that's probably what you're more nervous about is being out of your comfort zone and not having anybody to speak to i actually thoroughly enjoy my own company so going for food on my own or a walk on my own is 
completely fine for me. I find that actually really enjoyable because I can just be with my thoughts and it feels like a self-care. But yeah, focus on what it is specifically that's making you feel nervous and try and do something before you go traveling to help master that feeling of nerves. So I've given you the example of going out and doing things on your own, but say if it's speaking to people, maybe it's speaking to strangers. You kind of get a bit nervous about what you're gonna say if you speak to strangers or when you're in a hostel and you know that you've got to make new friends. Is it that that makes you nervous? Try and build your confidence up and make more effort with your friends, but be the first one to make more of the effort or even down to the simplest thing of if you're queuing up at the till to pay for something and you end up having a really nice chat with the cashier and just ask, how's your day today? So it just makes you feel a lot more comfortable in asking people questions so that it kind of loosens up the nerves a little bit and those nerves start to fizzle away. So just really, really focus on what it is that's making you nervous. I'm gonna repeat myself over and over. <laughs> so it gets in your brain, but honestly, focus on what it is that's making you nervous more than anything and try and work on that before you leave because it will make your life so much easier. And when you go out there, you'll feel a lot more calmer, a lot less stressed and a lot more confident in yourself as well. It's really important when you're traveling to look confident and to feel confident because you will find over time you'll get that. Like when I first got to Thailand, I was like, what the hell is this? What am I doing? Is this even real? Do I need to pinch myself because this is just like bizarre to me? I can't even believe I'm here. I've dreamt of this for so long, but I just don't know what I'm doing. And I've spent three days in Bangkok basically walking around the city with no idea what I was doing and I was just so lost and so confused but then as soon as I left and I went to the beaches I was like this is amazing this is great and then I kind of just settled a little bit more then I wish I knew this before I went away I wish I knew what it was specifically that was making me feel more nervous but I think subconsciously I kind of did work on those things because I started making myself go out on my own I started making myself go for walks on my own I started going to restaurants to eat on my own so I think realistically I was actually mentally preparing myself for it without even realizing in the moment so there is my advice to you regarding that subject <laughs> um i really hope this helps please let me just tell you you'll be fine you'll be absolutely fine be excited channel the nerves into something positive focus on what's making you feel nervous and channel that into flipping that coin and making yourself feel excited or more confident about that situation you'll be fine trust me everyone can do it if i can go traveling you can do it you have got this trust me have faith in yourself and believe in yourself and take care of yourself i think it's really really good before you leave to spend a lot of time with yourself and just really just focus on what you want from this trip it will get you more excited about it rather than nervous again like i said it's so normal to feel nervous before leaving it's a really really weird transition but once you do it you know that you can do it any 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 time next time you're gonna have to transition coming back from your travels and then that's again that's like another weird thing as well but that will just be in a whole different series probably one more thing before I go if you are feeling really nervous then go and speak to people that you know that have been traveling I actually had quite a few friends that have been traveling previously and I spent a lot of time communicating with them before I left because they kind of understood how I was feeling and I felt quite alone because I didn't feel like anybody knew what I was going through it felt like I was going through the biggest change of my life and nobody around me really knew how big that change was for me it wasn't just the fact that I was going traveling it was the fact that I was going to be leaving my home not going to be able to see all my friends not going to be able to see my family. I'd split up with a partner that I'd been with for six years and moved out of his place. So that was just, the whole thing was just like, it was massive and it was a really, really confusing time. So I felt really alone for a long time because I didn't feel like nobody understood what I was going through. But thinking back on it now, I was never alone. I had so many friends around me that openly spoke about travel to me and any questions that I had, they always answered it for me. And I can still think of exactly the people in my head who helped me with that. And I'm so grateful for them for giving me the advice even if they didn't realize that they were being that support in that time they were massively supportive because they understood so anyway thank you so much for watching my loves i really appreciate it so much from the bottom of my heart because this is all about pre-travel nerves i really really hope that this whole backpacking guide is really helping you settle your nerves and get you prepared for your trip and get you more excited than anything the next few episodes have so much information in it so don't forget to stay tuned hit the bell button if you haven't and please leave any questions that you have down below thank you so much guys Love and light to you. Bye bye for now.